Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I moved and the kids started new schools and I started a new job and we just had a little bit of period of adjustment. But I'm back and I'm recording again and it feels really good to get back at it. So we're going to continue on with this video with the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook. Um, if you remember, I'm going through recipe by recipe and trying everything out. And today is an easy one. It's going. I'm almost finished with the drink, the beverage section, the cocktails and other beverage section, which I'm glad. I'm really ready to get on with the breakfast food, the muffins, and all the other good stuff that's in this book. But let's get through this chapter, and then we can get on to the better stuff. Even though this chapter has been fun, it has been really nice learning some new drinks and deciding what kind of things I like. But all that being said, we're going to go and try the Manhattan today. The Manhattan is a drink that was at the Gilmore's estate all the time. Um, I think Richard was the one that drank them more than anything. So it says if you're feeling peckish, Take a lesson from Lorelai, you can enjoy this as both a drink and an appetizer. Just pile in more cherries. So, we're going to try it with one cherry and we're going to try it with eight cherries. So, um, let's get to it. Alright, look at this cool um, new measuring cup I got. It's an anchor hawking, but it's just one ounce and it's perfect for what I've been doing. So, I found it at Walmart, but I'll link it below to see if you guys um, want to get some for your own, for measuring your own drinks. But the Manhattan is super easy. Okay guys, you ready? So, I'm starting with a half full shaker of ice. And it wants two ounces of rye whiskey. I ended up getting Crown because it was actually the cheapest at my local liquor store. So, that's what I ended up with. So I forgot to pop it open. Actually smells really good. So it went. The recipe calls for two ounces. And I can use my new little measuring cup and measure two. This also has teaspoons and tablespoons written on it. Ounces. I thought it was a pretty neat little measuring thing. So one ounce. One ounce of sherry. This is awesome. This isn't very expensive. It's ten dollars for this big old bottle. But it says I was looking up storage things for sherry for afterwards, and after you open it, it only lasts a week. Um, good. So I might have to try to find other reasons to use sherry. Might have to just drink it. We'll see. But we will do one ounce of sherry. It didn't specify a kind of sherry, so I just got the basic sherry. And a quarter teaspoon of bitters. So I have these. Can't really see. Here we go. I have these bitters. I've never seen these or used these before, so that's something. It's a quarter of a teaspoon. I have right here. interested to smell this and see what it's like. Oh, it smells good. It smells like nutmeg. I didn't know it was going to smell like that. No wonder Manhattan's are so popular. All these ingredients smell really good. Alright, it kind of pours kind of slowly. You can hear my, you can hear kitty cats. <laughs> um, they're on the floor down here wondering what I'm hearing. Okay. And then it says cherry, but that goes on top later. So, shake it up. It 
the shake and how well blended. I mean, it's not that much stuff, so. All right. Oh my goodness, my strainer top stuck. There it goes. All right. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, it all fits. There's not too much. And it says, get the cat right here underneath trying to bite for her. He doesn't know what he wants. Put a cherry in it. All right, we are going to try my first Manhattan. Cheers. This is good. This is really good. Okay. It is strong. Like, it might be because I'm using a better brand of whiskey with the crown, but this is really good. It's definitely alcoholic. It's not sweet. It's definitely more of a dry drink. But it's good. It's really good. Like, I'm going to go edit this video while drinking, so hopefully the editing won't be too weird. So, I hope you all have a great day and subscribe because I have more to share with you and I have some other videos up my sleeve coming up too so so please subscribe be ready to watch some more fun things that I'm going to do with y'all see ya Bye.